at the moment. Again, Donald Trump at the moment, three contests, New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Iowa with the Republicans. Donald Trump has 68 delegates. You need 1,237 to win. So we've got a long way to go on the Republican side. Again, though, everybody assumes Trump is going to win Nevada. That's the next Republican contest tomorrow night. Let's say it's Trump, Rubio, Cruz, and Kasich and assign those delegates. Then Trump's got three wins, and we're heading into Super Tuesday. Remember the conversation you were just having? How do you stop Trump? Well, here's Super Tuesday. Let's, for the sake of argument, say Ted Cruz wins his home state. It's not guaranteed, but let's say Ted Cruz wins Texas. We'll give him first, Donald Trump second, Marco Rubio third, and Kasich fourth. And, again, this is a hypothetical. John Kasich says maybe he can win in the Northeast, maybe he can win Massachusetts. Uh, Trump's ahead there, but just to be fair and have a little fun, let's give Massachusetts to Governor Kasich for the sake of this argument. Trump second, Rubio third, Cruz fourth. So then you've got something like this. After Super Tuesday, Donald Trump is starting to pull away because the Republican rules are more generous to the winner. Now we take us another jump in March, and you see, look at this. Wow. Remember, yeah, he jumps ahead. And again, let's stop a couple here. Florida votes then. Let's just say Marco Rubio wins his home state. We'll give Trump second, Cruz third, and Kasich fourth. And where else? We have Ohio in here. Let's say Kasich stays in the race. That's one of the big question marks. And wins his home state. We'll say that goes Kasich, Trump, Rubio, Cruz. Even then, even then, if they start picking up a couple of states, Trump has this huge lead. So I'm just going to play it out with Trump coming in first, Rubio and Cruz fighting for second and third. If you play it out through May, uh, Trump's almost, even if you take a state or two away, Anderson, look where Trump is. And then you get to, into June to the convention. Here's the point. If Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz keep fighting for second and third and they don't start beating Trump on a consistent basis, well, they'll also be fighting for seats at Donald Trump's convention. Mm. Amazing. John, stay with us. I also want to bring in CNN political analyst and New York Times presidential campaign correspondent Maggie Haberman.